If you store your whips in these zippered mesh project bags that so many of us use, you may want to head down to the back to school section at Walmart. I'm Michelle, this is my romantic tangle, and as soon as I saw that Walmart had these zipper pouches in the back to school section, I wanted to get my hands on them and see how they compared to the pouches I ordered from Amazon a while back. They are in the back to school section with the pencil cases and other back to school storage stuff. They're calling them zipper pouches. They measure nine and a half by 13 and a half inches and you can get six pouches in a package for $5. That makes them a little bit cheaper than the ones I ordered off of Amazon a few years back. Those were $9.95 for 10 of them. I bought two packs and was excited to open them up and see how they compare to the ones I got from Amazon. It's good news, guys. This is one of the ones I got from Amazon. This is one of the ones I got from Walmart. The ones from Walmart are shinier. That is the biggest difference that I can see. And the ones from Walmart are just slightly larger so I think that they are close enough in size that I can store them together and not worry about that. If you watch my channel and you know me, you'll know that I don't worry about that sort of thing anyway. The zipper pulls are similar, but not identical. The material they are made out of, the ones from Walmart are glossier and the ones from Amazon are a little bit more tarp-like if that makes sense. They both have the mesh appearance to them. And the ones that I got from Amazon, although they sell them from different companies in different styles, have a tint to them. The ones I got from Walmart have different colored zippers, but the bags themselves are all clear. So they do give you a slightly better look at what is going on in the package. The green is not tinted that much. The blue has a dramatic tint to it. I'm excited about these. They are just barely big enough that you can zip in an un unopened Dimensions Gold Collection kit. Once you have that hard plastic packaging off, you can get that cover in without folding it. Either way, without folding it, it's easier to zip in without that plastic cover. And of course, they'll hold Riolis kits unopened and I'm pretty sure most of the other kits in my stash are the same size unless we're getting into big vintage cruel things which wouldn't fit in here anyway. I am excited about these. I did buy one 20 years ago probably from my local needle workshop and it was clear and more like the material this one is made out of. I paid a lot more than a dollar for it. So if you're, I don't know if there's a quality difference between the types of material or if they are just different. I like the feel of the matte one better than I like the feel of the glossy one. But the glossy one is less expensive and I can go down to Walmart and buy these and have them in my hands today. I can also buy them in increments of six pouches instead of having to buy ten. And I'm not, I buy things online, of course I do, but if I can run down to the store and have it in my hands today, I'm going to do that. The Walmart ones are slightly cheaper. As I said, they're six for five dollars versus ten for nine ninety five from Amazon. I don't, otherwise, I don't see a big difference between them. I do like that it's clearer and I can see my project through it more easily. I think they'll be great for mixing and matching storage. For most of my storage lately, I've been using these snap front pouches that I can get from the Dollar Tree, and I don't like them nearly as well. The snaps are starting to get harder and harder to snap, so all of my active whips are about to go into zipper pouches, and the UFOs are going to go into these other snap top ones. Let me know what is your preferred method for storing your whips. Of course, the gold standard would be the custom sewn vinyl window cotton zipper bags, but not having the patience or the budget to sew enough of those for myself yet, this is what I'm doing instead. 
Let me know what you use, if it works for you, and if you'll be checking these out from Walmart. Thanks for watching. I'm Michelle. This is my Romantic Tangle, and I'll be back with you with more videos soon.